My name is Melissa McGuire and welcome to Yellow Butterfly Craft Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I am coming to you with a haul from Target. I have one thing from Michaels, but the rest is Halloween stuff from Dollar Tree. And it's some really good stuff. So let's start with Target because that stuff is more fall, not Halloween. Um, and then we'll move on to the rest. So at Target, their Bullseye Playground, Target Dollar Spot, whatever you'd like to call it, um, they are bringing out their fall um, and Halloween stuff. I don't think I saw any Halloween there the other day, but they definitely have their fall stuff out. So the first thing I bought is these, this little fox, and I got three little itty bitty foxes you see the size comparison. Three little foxes to go with them um, because I have three little boys and so I'm going to paint that as the mama fox and the three babies. Um, I got this pumpkin. Um, they all have the holes in the top so I will use greenery or flowers or something like that to uh, spruce it up. And then I got this thing of crates. There are two crates in there for five dollars. Um, they're good size and they're, they seem to be pretty sturdy, um, so they're going to be nice to craft with. The other thing I got is this big board. It has a chalkboard on the other side. Um, and then it has stencils that come with it, and I don't know if the camera will focus on them or not. Um, but there are th four different stencils in there. One says Farm Fresh Pumpkins. One is Three Pumpkins. One says stay spooky, and the last one is a moon with a witch's hat. Um, so I'm excited. I have bought some boards like this before from Target. They're really easy to DIY and they're really easy to craft with. Um, they take paint really well, they take stain really well. So, and the last thing I bought is this house. And he will be getting a facelift because he's pretty boring. Um, Probably a Halloween house because I don't have any of those. Um, I have fall and I have Thanksgiving and and Christmas houses, but I don't have any Halloween houses. So he will probably be a Halloween house. Um, and then on to the only thing that I picked up at Michael's for Halloween, which are these little, their little die cutouts. And they come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, these are really great to put on signs, uh, or if you're a card maker, slap them on a card and put a Happy Halloween on it and you're good to go. Um, especially if you're wanting to make something cheap. They were $4.99. I don't believe I got them on sale, but they're Halloween stuff and that'll always go on sale um, the longer that's out in the stores. Okay, now let's get to this Dollar Tree massiveness of Halloween. Um, the first thing I bought, which are going to be like more cutouts, more die cuts, um, are these journaling, what did they call them? Journaling cards. Um, it doesn't look like you punch them out. It looks like you have to cut the images out individually. Um, but that'll be, you could use it almost as a 12 by 12 background, um, for scrapbooking. Um, or you could cut the images out and use them individually. I also got these window decals, um, the window clings, that have, one says, we all go a little mad sometimes. Be back later. I told you I was sick. Um, double, double, toil and trouble. Pick your own poison really old I knew this person I knew this would happen and the witch is in so I'm excited to craft with these especially this one that one's huge and it would be really cute to put on foam board and then cut them each out as little headstones um, the next thing that I bought are these little bones I think they're really cute and I might tie them together and make a garland because I think they would be really cute as a garland. Um, the only like hanging ornaments that I bought are these ghosts. 
Now, the new thing that Dollar Tree came out with this year are these little things with the clothespins. So I got some bats, some ghosts that say boo, these witches' feet crack me up, and some pumpkins. Well, these are jack-o'-lanterns. Um, I got two packs of these because I think the other ones I'm going to paint to just look like pumpkins. Um, Dollar Tree every once in a while, which I haven't seen many new ones this year, but they come out with wooden stickers. Um, and this year they had some that are the Day of the Dead and the Sugar Skulls, which I thought were super cute and super different. Um, they have... Moving on to something else that was new. These, they're, they stand pretty tall. Um, I probably will not use them like this. Um, I will probably take this apart and use the individual pieces. Um, if I do keep them together like this, then I will probably change out how they're hooked together. It's, I don't know, it's weird how they hooked them together. They didn't use twine or string or anything like that. Um, so I'm not real fond of how they stay together. Um, but I have one with a skull and then this one that has the jack-o'-lanterns and the other tombstone. Words are apparently really hard today and I can't think of what things are called. Um, Something that is new for Dollar Tree for Halloween are these words. Um, they're wooden words that you can paint. That one says boo. This one is my favorite. It says wicked. This one says spooky. This one says happy Halloween with a little jack-o'-lantern. Um, the other thing, which I can never, ever find the galvanized stuff at Dollar Tree. I don't know if my Dollar Tree doesn't get it in or if I miss it or what, but they did come out with some galvanized things. So this one is a ghost. This one is a witch's hat. And this one is a jack-o'-lantern. Um, it would be really cute to use like these words and put them on the galvanized pieces. Um, these would be really neat if you brushed them, just dry brush them um, with a color so that the galvanized still shows through, but you can see the color also. Um, they came out with some new bigger words. This one says Happy Halloween. And this one says Wicked. I'm kind of excited to see what I can do with this. Because I really like the Wicked part. Um, there, there is a Witch's Cauldron um, with the feet sticking out. Now, I don't think I'm going to use this for Halloween. I think I am going to use this for Christmas. Um, because to me these could be, if you cut the heel off of the shoes, um, they could look like elf feet or Santa feet coming out of a chimney. Um, so that's probably what that'll be used for. It won't be used for what it is intended. Um, and the last thing I picked up is this jack-o'-lantern. Now with these, it's really neat because you can paint the jack-o'-lantern part one way and then on the other side, it's blank, which means you can DIY this any way you want. Um, so you have options with him. Um, something else new that Dollar Tree brought out for Halloween this year are these little itty bitty signs. Well, I guess they're not itty bitty. They're about the size of my hand. Um, they each say something different. I really like the shape of the signs. I think they are super cute. Um, I You could most definitely, very easily, 
make a hefty, really cute garland with these. Um, it would be so easy. You could string beads in between them or um, put fabric, like tie fabric all the way through. Um, they would be super, super cute done that way. And there is the last one. And I think that is it. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Hopefully I'm getting these out early enough for you to be able to find some of this stuff in the stores. Um, you can order online for Dollar Tree, but you have to buy stuff in big bulk sizes for the most part. Sometimes they have it to where you can purchase the little stuff um, like in quantities of four, but a majority of it you have to buy in the big cases of like 24 or 36. Um, so keep an eye out in your stores for this stuff and happy hunting and I will see you again soon. If you would like to see what I make with a lot of this stuff, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys later. Thank you.